What's up guys, I'm Just a Gamer and I'm here to bring you my thoughts on Microsoft's conference. And there's a lot to go through so let's try to get through this quick. Uh, so first and foremost, Xbox announced not one but two new consoles, the Xbox One S and I guess Project Scorpio since they didn't have an official name yet. And when they first showed the Xbox One S, I figured this was their new, you know, in-between system. It's going to be smaller, it's going to be, you know, a little bit more powerful overall, and I thought, oh, right, that's going to be great. But I was wrong, because at the very end, they sh they announced Project Scorpio, which, which was their actual next, you know, next step system that's going to be more powerful and all that. So part of me is wondering if announcing both of them so close together was a good idea, because why would anyone get the Xbox One S now when they have to clearly wait only until next year to get the new Project Scorpio. I mean, it'd be too much, it's way too much money to get just both of them. So obviously more people are going to mostly just forego getting the Xbox One S and just wait that extra year for the Project Scorpio. So I'm not sure how they're going to work that out or why they did it that way. But on the other on the big part, the Project Scorpio, it's the way it was described in the teraflops and all that, the AGPUs, wow, it sounds powerful and it sounds like it's going to be ridiculous and I can't wait to see more. Uh, now, uh, as for games, Gears 4 looked great, it was really good, ReCore looked really good, I've been wanting to see more about it and I was hoping we'd get like a, like a game demonstration, but we only got like this new trailer. Which had gameplay in it, but I would have liked a bit more like an actual demo on stage. But overall, it looks good. Uh, disappointingly enough, they just showed Battlefield 1, the same trailer from e from the EA conference, which was kind of weird why they did that. I figured they'd at least a new trailer or a new map or something, but they just played the exact same trailer, which was kind of boring. And speaking of boring, the Minecraft segment, oh wow, I... I wanted to fall asleep so bad. It was not fun. It was boring. Why they even put that in there, I don't even know. Uh, one game that I thought they didn't show enough, they basically just showed like some environment and then a title card was inside the indie game. And I believe it's the same one they showed last year, which was the little boy sneaking around. And that looks so interesting. And the fact that they didn't show more of it really frustrated me. But that is another game that looked really good. Um, one game that I was excited for, but not so much any of my friends, was the new Gwent game from Witcher 3. I actually loved Gwent from Witcher, and the fact that they're going to give it its own standalone game, I'm actually happy about. I thought it's going to be great. Uh, but I am kind of weirded out to the fact that they said they changed some of the cards and rules, so I'm kind of wary about how they changed it. Uh, another nice surprise, or it would have been a nice surprise, but it got leaked a while back, was Dead Rising 4. It was a new trailer, and it showed a bit of gameplay in that trailer, which looked pretty fun, and it's going to be with Frank. So a lot of people liked him over the new guy from 2, and uh, they missed him in 3. Was he in 3? I can't remember if he was in 3 or not. I think he was DLC in 3, but I could be wrong. So that looks good. Um, two games that looked interesting to me um, was the first one was We Happy Few and like that whole drug induced like you eat the drug and it changes your perception of reality it reminds me of oh, I can't remember the name of the game but I think it was for PS3 it was Haze and it was a whole like you took that you took the vial or the medicine or that liquid and it gave you all that strength and stuff, but it also altered your perception, and it's very interesting. And I didn't play Hay, so again, I'm just speculating. But the whole We Happy Few, like the whole their whole aspect of it, looked really interesting to me, and I really want to see how they do that. The other game that I thought looked interesting was Sea of Thieves, the whole pirates and like just going around and doing that. That seemed interesting, but they needed to show, like they needed to show a little bit more. I mean, it was nice to see like the you know, like the two teams going at each other and stuff like that. But I want to see what you'll be able to do, like, as a team 
versus the environment. Like I would like in the little trailer before they showed like skeletons and sharks and monsters, and I wanted to see a bit more of that. And they didn't really show it. They just showed, they just showed the PVP, which again looked interesting, but I wanted to see a little bit more of the PVE. Um, Scalebound was shown, and it looked good, but at the same time, it kind of looked generic. And not to mention, like, the the person, uh, the team playing with it, he kept trying to shoot arrows, and he kept missing, like, it did 66 damage or something. And then right there next to him is the guy on a dragon blowing, like, a fire, and it's doing, like, 100 damage per tick, and there are, like, a billion ticks. I'm like, why is this guy just on, you know, trying to shoot arrows as a thing? Just get on your dragon, boy. Just get on the dragon. But I, I need to see more. I'm not going to pass judgment on it until I see a bit more. But so, I mean, it, again, it doesn't look bad, but it just seems a little too generic to me. I don't know why. Um... They announced State of Decay 2, and the trailer was interesting, but I actually never really heard of State of Decay 1, so I'm kind of lost with State of Decay 2. I really don't know much about it, so I gotta look into that. Uh, the Halo Wars 2 trailer I thought was amazing. I thought it was a great trailer. I didn't play much of Halo Wars 1 just because I sucked at the game really bad, but who knows, maybe I'll give this one a go, but overall though, the trailer for Halo Wars 2 just looked amazing. And um, another misstep on Xbox, or I don't even think it's Xbox, is on, uh, I guess it's Square Enix's side, is they tried to demo Final Fantasy XV on stage, the whole like Titan fight, and it did not pan out. It was just the guy getting smacked around a lot and then I think eventually the time ran to where like he just in it initiated the ending sequence which was kind of <laughs> kind of lame I mean I go of course I'm excited for the game a lot and I can't wait to play it but the demo on stage was just not good they they should have just left that out one game that was notably absent and I was wondering was Crackdown 3 I mean, they had announced it last year at E3, so for them not to show anything about it this year, I found a bit weird. But, not I mean, again, it's not a deal breaker. It wasn't bad. It was just weird that they didn't show nothing, even though the game was announced last E3. I figured this would have been their time to, like, reveal it. But uh, those are my biggest takes away, my biggest takeaway from the show. And overall, Microsoft actually did a really good job Again, there were a few lulls with like the whole Minecraft and the Final Fantasy and the Battlefield re you know repeat trailer, but overall it was a really really good conference. I have to give them like again I'm comparing it to Bethesda's, and again compared to Bethesda's they they you know they couldn't reach that height, so I have to give them a B plus because they did a solid job. But like there were a few lulls. And so yeah, I give them a solid B plus. It was really good overall. So that's it for now, and I uh, will catch you guys after the Ubisoft conference. Take care. I'm just a gamer. <laughs>